Australian state and territory leaders are arguing over whether to reopen internal borders. It's seen as a critical step to boosting the ailing economy, but implementing the plan is down to the leaders of individual states and territories who come from opposing political parties. Tensions between New South Wales and Queensland are high, with disagreement on how safe it is to allow unrestricted movement. New South Wales has been pushing for domestic travel to resume, while Queensland says it won't take advice from its southern neighbour. Let's be very clear on the border issue. We won't be lectured to by the worst performing state uh, in Australia. There are 33 times the number of active cases in New South Wales compared to Queensland. So New South Wales needs to get its act together uh, and get its community transmission down and we'll all be better off throughout this nation, including in Queensland. The less borders, the better. Uh, the less number of rules, the better, because that really spurs on economic activity, allows people to be innovative and also gives people more choice. Uh, and that's why uh, what we've done in New South Wales, whether it's the return to schools or the return to business, we've made sure that we've set rules in place that will allow things to stay open during the course of the pandemic. Prime Minister Scott Morrison wants the bulk of safe distancing restrictions removed by July. Domestic tourists spent a record 53 billion US dollars last year, almost half of all tourism spending. The country's deputy chief medical officer says there is no medical reason to keep borders closed. But many smaller states, which have reported very low numbers of infections and few to no deaths, remain reluctant.